All right, welcome back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create this outer round skin that goes around the outside there. And we're gonna create the clasps that go on the outside here and another one and some more for down in here. And then not in this video, but the next video we'll do the magnets and figure all that out. Awesome, so let's get down to it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a sketch on this face here, on my right face. And I'm gonna hide everything I've made at this point. I can see that now. Actually, I'm gonna bring the right face back on and I'm gonna project this face onto there so I can see the line better. And I'm just gonna hide the right side. Yeah, now I can see this line a lot better. And what I wanna do is I wanna create an offset from this line. And this is gonna represent the thickness of the plywood that wraps around it. So here I'm just gonna type in TH, enter, and one more enter to set the line. So now this is the skin of plywood. It's gonna wrap around, let me turn the right side, let me turn these back on real quick so you can kinda of see. It's gonna wrap around here and then come here and this right in here is gonna be where the, the two pieces come together. So this is gonna be the opening and this whole big top is gonna to flop off and go to the left. So I'm gonna go back to my right side so I can see my view. I'm gonna bring the, the stationary side on this side that comes around here to about a, 10, 10 millimeters from this corner. So I'm gonna come here and draw a vertical line, right? It doesn't matter where, just draw one in there. And I'm gonna do a dimensioning tool from this line to this point right here. And I'm gonna type in 10 and hit enter. So this is, I'm gonna drag this one down the inside. This is gonna be that one side here. Now, we want the two pieces to come together, but when we cut this curve into it, the plywood's gonna stretch a little bit. So we're actually gonna create the other side over here. So I'm gonna grab another line and just drag a straight line down. Hit escape to leave that tool. Hit D for the dimensioning tool and dimension between these two lines as another 10 millimeters. All right, that gap right there is gonna look weird in our design, but what it does, it allows us to pull the two sides together, five millimeters each, and tighten up the curved edges so they're not all loose and baggy and they look terrible. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna um, extrude this. So I'm gonna hit E for extrude, and I'm gonna click on this, leaving out this piece in the middle. I don't wanna extrude it. I'm gonna hit home to see where I am, flip around to this other side of the model, and now I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna to go to an object, and I'm gonna extrude all the way out to this face. It's gonna guess that I wanna join everything together, but I'm gonna say, nope, I wanna cut, a, I wanna have a new body on this one. And I'm gonna say, okay. And right now, here is the new body. I'm gonna double click on it and call it the outside. Hit enter, and now I've got it going. I'm gonna hit A for appearance. Grab my bat, my oak and drop my oak right on there so I know what that one is. All right, close. Now notice this gap is what I was talking about earlier. Um, so when we cut the the slots and all of these and make them bend, they'll get all um, they'll stretch a little bit and be all loose and crummy here. So what we're going to do is when we actually build it, we'll pull this one in five millimeters to here, and the lid will pull in five millimeters. That will tighten up this curve, and then the other one will tighten up this curve. So just trust me with this one. Um, this is gonna work great. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is create the clasps. To do that, I'm gonna create a sketch on this little piece here on the top surface. And I'm gonna hide everything. And that's my rectangle I'm starting with. I'm gonna grab a line tool I'm just gonna make a vertical line somewhere. This is where you can start just with your creativity doing what you want. I'm gonna create mine in sort of a triangle shape. So I'm gonna drag it up like this. I'm gonna drag another line like this. All of this is random. I'm gonna hit escape. And now to keep it balanced on both sides, I'm gonna actually grab a construction line right now. And I'm gonna find the middle of this line. There it is, triangle just like that. I'm looking for that triangle. And I'm gonna drag it straight up and click escape to leave that tool. 
And now I'm going to create a uh, mirror pattern. So I'm going to mirror the two lines I drew. And my mirror line is going to be the middle of the lid. And then I'm going to say, OK. Now I want to create, I'm going to create an arc across here, give it kind of a nice round over look. So I'm going to do a three point arc. To do a three point arc, you put, you click on one side where the arc's going to go, click on the other side where the arc is going to go, and then you drag the arc up and down. And I want an actual line, not a construction line here. And I'm going to keep going until I see, you can see them um, right in here, this area there, there's a little tangent line show up. So now I've got a tangent, which means it's perfectly smooth. This line is perfectly smooth into the curve. And then I'm going to turn the outside back on. And you know what? I don't quite like it. I'm going to escape to leave the, um, tan the, the tool I was just in, turn the outside back on, and I can just drag this line over. And maybe I'm going to drag this line down until I get something where I'm like, I like the look of that. I think that looks pretty good. Again, I just got to ignore this gap. This gap won't exist in reality. Um, and then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to extrude this. Once you get the shape you'd like, I'm going to extrude this piece and this piece. And I'm going to extrude this up, which for me is positive because the arrow is guessing up. And I'm going to do it one thickness up. And again, it's going to think to join it, but I want to say, no, I want a new body here. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit A for appearance and drop that oak appearance onto it. Awesome. And now we're just cooking with fire. Close that. Uh, I don't like how sharp these edges are, so I think I'm going to go in and ease those with a fillet. So I'm going to come here and grab my fillet tool. I'm just going to come in here and fillet this corner, this corner, and then I'm going to click home to go back to my view, and then, yep and then this corner and this corner. And I can hide the outside. If the outside kept getting in my way, I would just hide the outside while I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna just drag it in until I get something that looks nice. That's probably too much. Maybe I'm gonna try two millimeters. That's not quite enough. Three, four, I think three look good to my taste. I'm gonna click OK. Now that's that clasp that goes on top. Click the outside back on, that's the outside clasp. Now we still need to design a place for the magnets on the inside. So the magnets here will go across this opening. Um, we'll cut those holes later. And then we need to have a two layer thick little shelf here on this side for magnets to go in on this side. So that's what we're gonna design next. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna to wanna to draw it on this edge, but I wanna see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do this cool tool where I can cut away one face of my um, project. I'm gonna inspect, section analysis, and then I'm gonna click on the bottom surface of it and then just drag this arrow up. And what it does, it just cuts right into your sketch or your, your uh, object, Oop, too far. That's good, just like that. And I'm going to click OK. And now notice I've got this section analysis folder here. So if I can turn off this section analysis, it's just a view. So it didn't really cut it like an extrusion. It's just hiding it temporarily. So now what I want to do next is I want to take this piece. I'm going to create a sketch on this inside piece right here. So I'm going to come here and create a sketch. Um, and then I'm going to create a rectangle with a midpoint rectangle, and I'm gonna find the midpoint of this outside edge of that rectangle right there. And I'm just gonna drag it over, um, I'm gonna call this side 20, so the thickness is 20 in tab. And then I'm gonna keep dragging it till it is, I don't know, actually, I'm just gonna drag it to here for now and drop it. I need to actually project these lines onto the sketch. So I'm going to hit Escape to leave the Rectangle tool. I'm going to hit P for Project. And I want to project, what do I want to project? I think I might project this whole, yeah, I'm going to project this whole surface. And then click OK. 
So what I just projected was the shape of my top clasp onto this new sketch. And then I'm gonna use a collinear tool. And I'm gonna line up this right side of my rectangle with this right side of my clasp. Awesome, and the other side, because it's a centered rectangle, the other side went out as well. So I'm gonna then extrude this. I just want these inside pieces like that. So they match the same shape and look as the outside clasp. I think that'll look nice and fancy. And then I'm gonna extrude this up. Yep, one thickness, TH. Whoa, something went wrong. I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna hit extrude. Again, I'm gonna click on that piece and that piece and TH, enter. And it's gonna to try to do, oh, nope, it's doing a new body this time like I wanted to. So good, should say new body and enter. And then right away, I'm going to extrude one more time because I need two layers of thickness here. And I'm going to click on that face and do TH, enter. This time it's going to try and join, but I'm going to say, nope, I want another new body because it's going to be two pieces of plywood and click OK. So those are my two thicknesses there. I'm going to hit A for appearances, grab my oak, put it on body six and body or seven and eight in my case. All right, I guess I don't know. Okay, let's start naming some of these. So I'm going to close the appearances menu and I'm starting to get confused. So body six is the outside clasp. Body seven is this one's inside clasp one. And body eight is inside clasp two. Awesome and then back to home. Now, I actually wanna see the rest of the model now, so I'm gonna go over here to my analysis folder. If it's not open, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm just gonna hide the section one analysis. Okay, that looks pretty darn fantastic. Yeah, that's good. I remember that 10 millimeter gap there will close up when we go to actually make it. All right, so I think that's good for this video. Um, in our next video, we'll learn, let me actually turn everything back on so we're in a full view and go to the home view. In the next video, we'll learn how to create the joints on the sides here and one on the top here. Uh, we'll cut the holes for the magnets and then we'll start laying things out so we can cut up in the laser. Awesome job so far. Hang in there. Keep it up.